Uh, we went through so much as a band, and through it all, you guys know we're a Christian band. I've seen so many people play, and I'm not dogging these bands at all, but I've seen guys play and say, we're a Christian band. If you don't believe that, you know, that's cool. We respect you. Um, I've heard that, and it sounds good, and I do respect all you guys, but the problem is, is, is it okay? Like, I'm not okay with you not knowing. I'm, just not, I'm a Christian, but if you're not, that's cool. Because I read a Bible that says, where Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father but by me. And so if I'm reading a Bible that says this one thing, and I've got that one thing to get into heaven, and I don't even bother to tell any of you, man, that's heartless. I think so. Man, I don't know how long we're going to be a band, and we've already been through so much. Guys, I, I, I don't want to, we're going to play another song soon. But guys, the Bible says that we are all born into sin. And we're, we fall short of the glory of God. Now, now listen, I was born and raised in a Christian house. And as a culture, we say, oh, well, I'm Christian. And if you're born in a Catholic church, in, the, in like a Catholic house, and your mom and dad are Catholic, well, then you're Catholic. It's kind of just a culture thing. But see, Christianity is a relationship with Jesus. Even though I was born in to a Christian household, that doesn't make me a Christian. That doesn't mean I'm going to go to heaven. And so I had to cope with myself and see that, wow, I've fallen short. I was born into sin. And I'm going to hell. And I had to realize that. And that's a hard thing to realize. And when you look at, well, what sin is? Well, God says, you know, he hates liars. I know we've all lied. It's easy to lie. You know, we do it all the time, whatever. You know, it says that if you look at a woman to lust after her, you've committed adultery with her in your own heart. You know, that one is just like, oh, okay, I'm a sin. You know, if you're, if you're a cold-blooded male, like, that's what happens, you know. And same thing goes with girls. So, in God's eyes, we're sinners. But the fact that he, look, don't get me wrong. He is in crazy in love with you. He is. He is madly in love with you. And listen, God doesn't need you. He's got millions in heaven praising his name. Angels, everything he could want. But he wants you and you need him. God's not lonely up there waiting for us. But he wants us. He sent Jesus so he could have us. Okay? It says that. So God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, right? So whoever believes in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. The next verse says, God didn't send His Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world, to save the world through Him. See, we're condemned because we're born into sin. Jesus came so we can have life and life abundantly, so we can have everlasting life. This isn't something you have to do. You don't have to play by rules. And listen, you don't have to fix yourself Listen to this. You don't have to fix yourself to come to Jesus. You come to Jesus. It says the sacrifice which God wants is a broken spirit. A broken and crushed heart. Oh God, you will not despise. So when we come before God and say, you know what? I'm a screw up. I look at pornography every day. I'm addicted to alcohol. I love sex. God, what is wrong with me? I know that this sin is real and this is eating me up and I want to get rid of it, and I want you, and I say yes to you, Jesus. That's what God wants. He doesn't want us to play church. He wants us to be the church, to come into his family. And if there's something I can tell you, that would be it. But the Bible says if you want this, it says if you believe in your heart that Jesus was raised from the dead, and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you will be saved. For it's with your heart you believe and become righteous and with your mouth you confess and are saved. It says everyone who comes to God won't be disappointed. Everyone who calls in the name of the Lord will be saved. That's it. Don't try to fix yourself because you'll, you're broken. Face it, man, I mess up all the time. These guys, they're far from perfect. Okay? But all the more reason that, God, I need Jesus. I need Jesus, and I'm so glad he came and saved me, and he brings salvation to everyone. It says that he came to seek and save the lost. He didn't come to seek and save the perfect. Praise God. It says while we were still helpless, Christ died for the ungodly. While we were still sinners, God showed his love to us by dying for us. That's the gospel. Please, that's what I want you to come walk away with. And if you're a Christian in this building, I want you to walk away encouraged, knowing that anything you face, Jesus already has victory over. 
any addiction, God has victory over. He beat that. Guys, this is our last song. I know I'm rambling, but I hope this helps some of you. I love you. I truly do, whether I know you or not. And I want you to come to know Jesus. That's it, man.